the second pick the 1992 draft Alonzo Mourning from Georgetown University I took a lot of pride in keeping myself in the best possible shape everybody looked at me as this picture of health I was strong I was fast very athletic all-star, defensive player of the year, first team all NBA. I mean, the list goes on. You know, we're at the top of the world as it pertains to basketball standards. I started the Olympic process in 2000. I had noticed some discomforts at that particular time, but as professional athletes, we kind of taught to kind of ignore any discomforts or pain. I just said, oh, I'm just a little tired. Oh, you know, I need to get a little rest or I need to work out more, get myself in better shape. I always found an excuse of why. We ended up winning the gold medal. And on my way back home with the medal around my neck, I said, look, I, you know, I don't feel my best. Everything was just swollen and um, you could see the puffiness in my face. My energy was zapped. I was noticing the symptoms in my body and I probably would have continued to ignore them if I did not have my preseason physical. Our team doctor uh, identified some abnormalities in my body chemistries. He suggested that I go see a nephrologist, which I did not know what a nephrologist was. I went and had a biopsy done. I got a call. He said, you have um, a life-threatening disease called focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. I said, Doc, am I gonna die? He paused and he took too long to answer me. <laughs> and he said, we have no known cure, we can treat it. Or ultimately he said, in, in about 10 to 12 months, you're gonna probably be on dialysis. My head fell into my hands. Now mind you, I had been at the top of the basketball world and all of a sudden, Bam, I get hit with this news. It's easy to be scared. And I was. It's easy to be intimidated. But yeah, I was intimidated. And you know why I was intimidated? Because I wasn't educated on what was going on in my body. Once I educated myself on this disease, once I could actually pronounce it right, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah focal segmental glomerulosclerosis. Once I could actually pronounce it right, I started getting a little bit more confident. Back in 2000, fresh off an Olympic gold medal, after a routine physical, I was diagnosed with focal glomerulosclerosis. It's a disease that targets uh, the black and brown community. So it's important for us to, to not be afraid of the doctor, that you prioritize going to the doctor at least once per year, one time a year, just to get a full checkup. When you're dealing with chronic kidney disease, know that you control your destiny. Do what you can do within your power. I cut back on my salt intake. I made sure I took my meds on time. I made sure I exercised. Making those adjustments and keeping my body in great shape, doing what was in my power allowed me to get back on the court. So many people telling me to give up. I had so many people telling me to retire. You've done enough. If I would have listened to those folks, I would have never won a world championship. Your health is everything. I mean, you can have money in your pocket the most expensive cars, clothes, what have you. None of that stuff means anything. I had it all. When you took my health away from me, I, I felt like I had nothing. Ultimately, I just want people to be confident and understand that it's not the end of the world. It's not over with. You can still live a productive life. You can. And I'm living proof of it.